Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Ellen Camille Trent. It's Mini Monday Madness. Today's tutorial is a little mini bird with some holiday greenery around it. So grab your paint brushes and your paints and your paper. Let's go. Okay, so let's get started. I have my 100% Arches uh, cotton cold water press paper here cut into three by three inch square and I draw on <coughs> excuse me drew my bird right in the middle uh, got a little paint on here but that's okay we can use that to advantage and fix it and if you don't know how to draw a bird this is a simple way to look at it basically you're drawing half of a circle then you're drawing a circle pulling the other half circle pull it down straight like that and then put a triangle for the beak. Why? You do that, it's a little goofy, but as you get better, you know you're drawing the circle, the half circle, coming down. Still a little goofy, but somewhat better. But, you know, with the paint, it will uh, look nicer. And as you get a little better, you're drawing the bird body. Just get used to it. And little legs. Like so. You see that? Evolution of the bird. <laughs> All right. So I have mixed up some paint already in my palette over here. I have my light green, medium green, dark greens. I have a reddish pink, red, a dark red, and brown. Just the basics of the Christmas colors. So let's get started on the bird. I'm going to grab, let's see, which brush. This is a small piece, so I might actually grab, uh, I'll grab this brush. This is the Princeton Heritage number six. You can see that. Doesn't really want to give it a close up. So I'm going to put water on my bird. Just color them all in. Tail and all. I'm going to grab my red and have it start to bleed. Move it around with water. Look at that. Fun on a Monday. I don't even know how the origin of the mini started for me, but it just did. And this is a while ago in Instagram. And people really liked it, so I just kept doing it. And they still like it. And I sell some of the minis on Instagram. I did a bunch of uh, Shimoiserie vases with flowers in them. So, you, so I put it mostly on the bottom here and pushed it out with water and the brush moved it around. I'm going to grab some darker red. Maybe mix a little indigo with some red. Indigo blue, I'm sorry. Just dab it down here. I'm going to go back and grab more red. I'm just playing around with where it's going. I'm going to mop up some of this. Keeping the belly a little whitish. All right, we're going to let that kind of dry. And we're going to go around the bird now with the foliage, with the greenery. In various colors and tones. Yep. Now, if this, your brush is not pointy enough, you can grab a smaller brush. Let's see. I'm going to play around with see if I even like this. That's not too bad. I have many leaf tutorials. You can go check those out. With the smaller 
brush. See, it's not quite making the points that I want, so I'm going to switch out my brush. I'm going to grab the scrum backer that I use a lot in my videos. Number two, golden edge. You can have a fatter brush that makes a really tiny tip, but that one's kind of worn down. So we're just going in, putting foliage all around the bird. Different types, different color tones. Some can have berries. Some might not have berries. To get the idea, I'm just going to go around the whole thing with foliage and berries. So what I'm going to do is paint that faster through the technology way <laughs> and come back to you. Okay, after I painted all the greenery, I put a big black eye in there. I'm going to let that dry and add a little white highlight with gouache. And now I'm going to grab some deeper reds. I'm going to make his little wing. And that's going to be a little dark red. Fill that in there. There you go. And then around the bird, on the other part, I'm going to do patterns. You can play around with this. Everyone looks to be different. Do some more lines, <coughs> excuse me, lines on his tail. Do little dash lines. You can do a little Almost like feathers. Just play around with that. I'm going to let that dry and come back. Okay, we're dry. Now for details, <clears throat> you can use oh, excuse me, gel pens. Got to try these. Um, these are Uniball gel pens. There's silver, gold. There's white, and you can use that for details, like his little eye. And you can do the little dots. Where his feathers were. You can make a little line here. Dash it. Look how much fun that can be. Dots here. Just gives it a whole other dimension. Look at that. Gel pens are fun. Look 
got to try them out. Your pattern can look totally different than this one, but you get the idea, right? And then we'll just take, and if you want to add like um, silver and gold, like in here, some gold touches. There's the gold pen. See how fun that is? And do it on the leaves. Or silver, whatever you like. Play around. It doesn't have to look like this, like I keep telling you. You want to make it your own. Now, so you don't even see that messy green spot that I had earlier. So paint it over it. Oh, I'm peeling off the cardboard. See, that's how sticky this tape is. But I make it less sticky when I put the tape on. I close and then put it down. I peel that off. Come on, little birdie. <laughs> and, oh, here you go. Isn't that cute? Isn't that sweet? Mini Monday Madness. You put this in a little frame, give it, a, give it as a gift. Just something fun. And you can add more things in here, write little words. Make it special, make it your own. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. And if you did, please share, like, and subscribe. And I hope you have a great Monday. Bye.